Well, welcome to this video where we are going to give a uh, user's guide to uh, everyone out there who has bought urine ketone test strips to use as an indicator of how effectively they are doing their carbohydrate or calorie restricted diet. Now, we're going to talk in different videos about the use of these test strips in a few other situations. And if I just run through those very briefly, one is uh, the Atkins diet. Second is the ketogenic diet or ketosis diet. And the third situation for use of these is in uh, diabetics where they're screening for ketoacidosis, very different conditions. Today in this video, we're gonna concentrate on that, that first indicating use, the biggest use around the world, which is for people that are just trying to restrict their calorie intake, restrict their carbs and switch themselves into burning some fat and using these ketone test strips as an indicator of when they successfully have restricted their calories to the degree where their body starts using fat uh, and metabolizing that through into ketones and particularly the ketone which is excreted into urine which is acetoacetate. Now these test strips are, are universally available uh, usually in pots of 100. Uh, this particular pot that we're showing you here is from Wang Cheng. Uh, the code that is used almost universally by manufacturers is URS1K saying it's a urine reagent strip, uh, it's a single one ketone pad. So on these pads you can see uh, displayed here for you, you've got the starting or dry color test condition of the pad, which is almost across all brands, a universal fawn or light brown color. Now, testing these is very simple. You uh, open the pot, remove one of the test strips. When you first open the pot, there will be a uh, seal on the pot. This is uh, to prevent the test strips from absorbing atmospheric moisture. Once you break that seal, no matter how long the expiry date is, you've really got about three months to use the contents of that pot. You can sometimes extend the useful life of it by being very religious about putting the lid straight back on, taking a test strip out, not leaving the lid off. The way these spoil is basically atmospheric moisture absorption. And if that happens and the pads start discoloring and they're not, the negative color against the uh, negative read. If I just show you that next to it, that's the normal negative result that people with no ketones detected in their urine would have. Um, if they are a different color to that at start, then you basically need to buy new test strips, okay? Now, the degree of color change that you're gonna get on a, a urine test strip for ketones is usually one of five or six different indicating bands going from the negative through to a dark purple discoloration where you've got up to um, quite a large millimoles per litre concentration of ketones. Now when you start using these, when you start putting yourself into burning ketones, the level of uh, acetoacetate in your urine is going to be at the maximum level. And then after that, because the body converts acetoacetate into beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is the chemical that's actually used for energy by the brain and the muscles. As you get used to doing that, the enzymes that actually convert it actually increase in level and the rate of conversion increases. So what you would normally see when you successfully start burning fat is that initially when you start on the diet there will be no ketones detectable in urine or very low levels. When you get successful with your diet and you actually are burning fat as an energy source, initially you will have very strong levels uh, up to 16 millimoles per litre showing on a regular basis. But over the next couple of weeks, what you'll see is that that decreases into the mid range of the uh, results on, on the scale in front of you there. Now that's quite normal. And to put yourself back up to the high levels, you really have to push yourself hard to be producing an extremely high level of, of ketone basically so that the acetoacetate levels in the blood uh, are higher and a higher concentration reaches the urine but that becomes harder and harder as your liver is working better and better at converting that to the, the your pure energy burn ketone beta hydroxybutyrate so that's what to expect when when doing this the idea is that most people in the Western world are so dependent on glucose or carbohydrates in their diet that for the majority of time you're not burning uh, any fat that will produce 
detectable ketones in your urine. In healthy individuals that are eating a standard Western diet, dipping their urine throughout the day is going to be universally negative for ketones. Very occasionally if they've missed a meal or they've had a very high exertion level, you know, um, an athletic session or a gym session, then you may get a trace of ketone showing. But by and large, there's so much excess carbohydrates available to the body to, to break down to glucose or pure glucose that's available from glycogen reserves that the majority of people, because their calorie intake is by and large close to or exceeding in most cases their daily requirements, that they basically do not burn uh, fats in any volumes to produce the ketones. So if you are restricting your, your calorie count to the level where there's insufficient carbohydrates to produce all the energy that's required to run the body, you should start initially to see quite heavy levels of ketone detectable with these. How long is that going to take? Well, for most people, you are looking at between 48 hours and 7 days. Now, that is different from putting yourself into ketosis. Please don't uh, confuse this with uh, a, a metabolic or nutritional ketosis. This is just so that you will start to see some ketone body excretion through the urine as an indicator of initial fat burning and breakdown by the liver. Okay, so that's what to expect with the ketone test strips. If you don't have strong levels persisting over a long period of time, that's perfectly normal. It doesn't mean the ketone tests aren't working. We've spoken to you, given you advice regarding the risks of leaving the cap off and the ketone test deteriorating and the colour pad changing before you dip it into urine. If that occurs and they don't match that negative thing, then you must replace your tests with some fresh tests and you're going to be on your diet probably for three to six months. So you should expect to get through uh, a couple of pots of these realistically over that period of time. So I hope that's been useful to you. Uh, we're going to do further advice for people that are doing Atkins diet and what to expect with ketone test strips for that. And also a little bit about diabetic ketoacidosis and a video on uh, nutritional ketosis and what to expect with ketone testing uh, when you are on those specific diets.